Wind. And he's there to belt it away. Jao Cancelos. Chris. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. Cristiano Ronaldo deserves a lot of credit for his willingness to make those runs. The passers will always have an option with him. Out to the right. And he skips past his man. Can he latch on to this? Vince! Bruno Fernandes. Here's Rafael Leal. No outsmarting him this time. Ericsson. Skillfully cut out, he is so at ease on the ball. Two added minutes has been indicated. Well, that looks a decent ball. Vitinha looking for the runner. Bernardo Silva, and he's managed to get free. And the first half is done. Denmark head back in at the break after a first half that has been from a scoreline point of view in any case an even one both sides have contributed in equal measure either looking overly under pressure from the other and at the break last half full half empty it's one all so we reach the halfway point who wants half time when you have a contest this good i can only hope it picks up where it left off been a decent 45 minutes, competitive certainly, and a goal each. Everyone, please welcome our players to the field. So time for change. This one has been on the cards for a little while. Substitution for Denmark, number 19. So Coming we're into the second 45. Number 20. Often. It's Bernardo Silva. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Now it's Pulse. Now the ball in. Jao Cancelo gets it away. Corner number two then. And the goalkeeper's got a good palm to that. And now they can spring out of defence. Somewhat off target. Oh, super ball. Paulson! Vitinha. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Looking to go deep. Tries the header! Oh, not the best of headers. Denmark just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. Denmark do look as though they've made a half-time change here. Well, we're certainly going to see a change in personnel. We'll see if the system changes with it. That looks a cracking ball. And he's had a hit! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. So, third quarter of the game. Portugal can counter promptly here. 
The attendance for this match was Cristiano Ronaldo. Hoyle, Hoyle. Denmark are, of course, in a position to go to the bench should the need arise. Fiddles it through. Kasper Schmeichel catches it safely. Paulson. It's good pressure, good intensity. Yeah, he's been a real pest on that flank, Peter, but I think life is about to get tougher. Ericsson does have his name on the score sheet, of course. And he's seen that early. He's the certain sixth sense. Diogo Dalo. Vitinha to Bruno Fernandes. Christensen. Vestergaard. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could get here a winner. Vitinha. Bruno Fernandes has created one goal already. Rafael Leal. Anderson simply refused to be outdone. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. And it's Ericsson. That's a shade optimistic. This is intriguing. Next goal critical. Listen, the fans haven't given up on this by any means. They still believe it can be won. Now, what about a counter-attack? Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, this is a very good run. Ericsson. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Denmark are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, the stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing. So that's it. It is all over. Denmark have emerged victorious in this match of thrills. The odd goal ultimately proving the difference. Poulsen taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they can take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus.
So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, good afternoon.